Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Samantha. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I gained 50,000 followers quickly. Just a little backstory, I was on 8,000 followers 1st of January 2019 and now as of today, which is 13th of March 2019, I am on 58.8 thousand followers. So I'm going to be telling you guys all about my tips and tricks and how I managed to gain so many followers and also how I managed to gain a lot of engagement and impressions. So let's just get straight into the video. So I've got some notes here which is why I'm looking to the side, sorry if it annoys you. So the first tip I have, and you've probably heard this tip so many times and it sounds so cliche and you're probably bored of hearing it, but the first tip is be consistent. When people say this, they're not joking, like, be consistent. So you don't have to necessarily post every single day. Three to four times a week is fine. Make sure that you are posting consistently. So me personally, I like to try to post every single day. If I don't, then once every other day or once every two days, at least three to four times a week, you should be posting. Because if you become inactive on your account and Instagram sees that you're inactive, they're gonna think this person isn't a serious candidate and they won't show your posts to your followers, they won't put you on the explore page and yeah, just Instagram doesn't like when you're not active. Some people tend to post maybe three, up to three times a day, which I personally find a bit excessive because I don't really like the whole spammy kind of look. If you have a lot of followers and you know that you're going to get good impressions and good engagement and you're definitely going to get likes, then cool, fair enough. You can post three times a day. Whereas if you're just starting out and you're posting three times a day, it can come across as spammy. And people don't necessarily like that. So I would suggest post once a day, every day if you can. And if you can't, three to four times a week should be good. And when I'm saying be consistent, I'm not only talking about being consistent with your posts I'm also talking about being consistent with liking commenting following so if you like and you comment on people's posts then the next time you upload they'll see your posts come up on their timeline and they'll be like oh this person comments on my post so I'm gonna comment on theirs and yeah it just follows on from there following also make sure that you are following people that are within your niche so for example me I like beauty so I will go on my explore page and I will just scroll through and I will see this one person that oh their makeup is nice and I'll like it and I'll comment on it and if I click on their page and their posts are similar to the posts that I want to put up or I genuinely just like their posts then I'll follow them and hopefully they'll follow back so the next tip is make sure that you're posting good content. I'm just gonna use um, beauty as an example, but it can apply to like every other niche. So say for example, I take a picture and I wanna show off my makeup look. I'm not gonna take a picture where like half of my chin is like, is like not there or like this part of my head is like not in the frame or like if my eyelash is kind of like falling off here, like you have to make sure that your content is and you also have to think of sticking to your niche. So my niche is beauty. So I'm gonna make my posts all about beauty. So all of my posts and all of my content is gonna be related to beauty. And because my followers have followed me because of my niche, which is beauty, if I start posting up pictures of my, my food, more time people aren't really gonna care. And if you start doing that and you start posting up content that is not related to what your followers want to see they're going to unfollow you so the next tip is instagram stories so apart from posting apart from liking commenting and following you also have to be consistent with your instagram stories so what i noticed is when i didn't really post on my insta stories my views were going down and that is because instagram doesn't like it when you don't utilize what they have given you so you need to make sure that you're using your insta stories not only that but you need to be utilizing the features that instagram provides you with so for example the polls the questions you know when people say ask me a question you know even if you have like 20 followers put that up and instagram will like that so just utilize all them features so the questions the polls you know the one where you like you swipe the um 
the love struck emoji yeah that one um you know when you can add music i know in some countries you can't use that feature but if you are in a country where you can use that feature use it not only that but by you putting up music it makes your story more entertaining and people will be like oh this is fun this is a vibe so let me watch it so the next tip is instagram live so this is another thing that you should definitely be using regardless of how many followers you have so what i noticed when i didn't have that many followers i would go on instagram live and there wouldn't be that many people on there it's not necessarily a bad thing that there's not that many people in your life because in that way when people are, are asking you questions or when they're talking to you on your instagram live you can respond to them and that way these people that you are responding to become your loyal followers and they become your friends in a way and they will always want to be speaking to you and then these followers that you reply to on instagram live will then think oh like we actually have like a connection we have a friendship and i can comment on their pictures without it being weird because you know sometimes people are a bit embarrassed to comment on people's pages because they think that oh you know this person might not respond to me but at the end of the day if you use instagram live to connect with your followers then it just makes it easier to to get more engagement so my next tip is to make sure that your page looks nice so what i mean by this is whenever you post you always have to consider is this going to make my feed look nice it is something especially if you're starting out that you should consider so for example i've seen some pages where they are so like on job with their layout of their whole instagram so there's this one girl that i follow and she's got like um so she does beauty so she'll do like selfie 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 quote selfie 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 quote selfie and like the whole page just looks like wow like that is amazing so then that way when people visit your page and they see it they're like wow yeah this looks nice i like the content follow another thing that you have to do to make your page look nice is make sure that your bio is not messy make sure that it makes sense make sure that you know it's clear and concise there's so many videos on YouTube about how to like lay out your Instagram bio nicely so that you have like your email address for like PR collaborations. So you have your age. So for example, me, I would put beauty content creator. And then that way when people visit my page, they'll know, oh, this is what she does. And I like this, so I'm gonna follow. So the next tip, which I think is probably the biggest tip that helped me was making videos. Videos actually tend to get seen a lot more than pictures do. If you are into beauty, even like fitness or like food or whatever your niche is, start creating videos. If you wanna start doing videos, I would suggest to just look at other people's videos that, you, that are similar to what you want to do and just follow them. Just like use them as ideas. Not necessarily copy people, but use them as inspiration mainly look at people that good get good views get good responses and yeah just use that as as an inspiration of what you should be doing another thing that really helps me and is very very cheeky but it works clickbait clickbaiting is basically when your thumbnail is something that will force people to want to look at it so for example in beauty videos people tend to enjoy watching people blend their foundation or blend their concealer as it is very satisfying to watch well me personally i think it's very satisfying to watch and so when people have posts up where they have like foundation like dripping down their face or like they have like concealer like excessive concealer or like things that will make you kind of go like and then when people think oh what's going on here they'll click on it and that is clickbait also another thing is highlighter so people get attracted to bright things so when your highlighter is popping in your in your thumbnail people will be like oh that highlight is popping and they'll click on it clickbait okay so this is my instagram page and i'm not logged in because instagram is actually down and i can't log in so it's kind of scary but hopefully
hopefully it gets fixed so this video excessive concealer this video I've got lip gloss in my mouth if people were to be scrolling for the explore page and they see I've got something in my mouth they're gonna be like what's this in her mouth they're gonna click on it oh my gosh this video got me so much hate but look how many views it got this one highlight and contour people like to see blending so they'll see that and be like oh I want to see her blend that this one as well can you see I'm pulling off my eyelash people like what's people will be scrolling through the explore page they'll see that and be like what is that on her eye let me click on it and see what's that on her eye so you guys get what I'm saying so those kind of videos like just weird quirky kind of videos like pulling off your eyelash or like putting some lip gloss on or like putting on your highlighter just things like that those are the things that helped me gain followers because those videos got so many views because I was clickbaiting them I ended up getting about 2,000 followers per video that I was posting that's really what got my followers like okay so the next tip is captions so when you put up a post you have to make sure that your captions are engaging oh my eyes watering okay i'm back i think i should be okay now my eyes just gone a bit red and i don't know what happened there but let's proceed yes yeah, so just make sure that your in captions are engaging so let's say for example you do fitness and in your fitness video you are doing like some squats so then you would then ask your followers which is your favorite leg workout and they will say, you know, squats, lunges, hip thrusts, leg extensions. And yeah, you'll just get so many comments. And it's just like asking people to comment. And then you get your engagement. Another thing about another thing about captions is hashtags. So I would recommend to use hashtags that relate to the post. You're wearing eyelashes, hashtag eyelashes. You got highlighter on, hashtag highlighter. Don't be one of them people that use hashtags excessively because that can then look spammy and you don't want that and not irrelevant hashtags. So don't don't use the hashtags like, you know, the like for like, follow for follow, hashtag follow me. Like, don't do that because then people will see it as, I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to follow. I don't want the spam on my page. So another thing that helped me grow my followers is a shout out for shout out that sound weird whatever so say for example you're following a girl and you see that she's doing a shout out for shout out you would then click on that person's page that they're doing a shout out for shout out with and then you would then dm that person and ask shout out for shout out and you know they would say yes or no but you might as well try so just make sure that you're doing that and you dm people and you ask them you know do you want to do shout out for shout out you know you're helping that person as well as they're helping you so just make sure that you're doing it with people who have a similar following to you because if you don't you've just wasted your time and you've put up a story that people may not necessarily want to see and you know it doesn't really do anything for you another tip with that is to not overdo it so when I used to do shout out for shout outs, well I still do it sometimes but not as much but when I did used to do it I noticed like there were so many girls that would do like 50 in one day and that just makes it super 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 spammy so if someone was to go on their story and they were to click it and they'll be clicking for so long like click 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 this is just all shout out for shout out and it's just like oh, I can't be bothered I can't be bothered to watch your story anymore X and sometimes I can lead to people unfollowing you because it's just like, that's not what I want to see. I came here to see you, not to see other people. So yeah, just make sure that if you are going to do it, you don't do too many because that can annoy your followers. So my last tip is a very key tip as well. Just make sure that when you are posting and when you are commenting and when you are, you know, captioning and stuff like that, make sure that you are presenting yourself as the nicest person possible let me just tell you about a little story so <clears throat> so i remember there was this girl that i was following and she was so beautiful and i loved her makeup and you know her pictures were like good content and i was looking at a picture and i was thinking yeah her pictures are the kind of pictures that i would want to post so i like so i followed her and i really enjoyed her content and then the whole instagram questions thing came out and um because she had so many followers 
she began to um, get hate. So she would reply to the hate and say, for example, someone was, would say, oh, um, you know, your nose is ugly. Like she would respond to them and be like, well, you're, well, you're fat, so you know, don't even follow me then, just unfollow me. And I would read them and I would be like, wow, like, wow. But the whole point is, because this girl made herself seem like she was like a bitch, I didn't want to follow her anymore. And even though I enjoyed her content, I enjoyed her pictures and she was a beautiful girl, I was just like, this person is horrible and I don't want to follow this kind of person. So yeah, my point is, just try and make yourself as positive as you can. If you are positive, you are going to attract positivity and yeah, as cliche as it sounds, and I know everyone's all on that vibe of oh, positivity, yeah, everyone needs to be positive. But like, yeah, it's a thing. So yeah, sorry if you guys didn't find it helpful. Sorry if, you know, you found it boring or if I was rambling on, if I annoyed you with my voice. <laughs> But I um, hope this helps some of you guys and you know, you get your following up, you get your grind going and you make a brand of your name and you know, you have your own business and yeah, just anything that you want to do. I hope that this helped you and yeah.